Well, talking about risks, but another type of risk now, the African Development Bank Group has warned uh, countries like Nigeria, Kenya, Angola with the depreci depreciation of uh, the value in their currency. We may see more protests and surge in inflation. Well, I must say FDB has been busy in Nigeria. Yesterday was another one. But now uh, we're going to talk with the vice president for finance and chief financial officer uh, joining us there, Ms. Ms. Hasatu Nesele. And she's going to be speaking on one effort of the of uh, the bank uh, on the 30th of January 2024 the AFDB launched a hybrid capital transaction with a coupon of 5.75 percent I suppose to last until August 2034 uh, with a 10.5 year first call date at the bank's discretion we're going to discuss more about this and perhaps uh, what plans or how this can help in the tense situation that Nigeria's economy is at this time. So uh, thank you so much, Vice President, uh, Ms. Nesela. Thank you so much, and uh, for joining us this morning. Uh, can you help us understand this um, hybrid capital? What is it about? How does it trickle down to the people from government? Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. Uh, hybrid capitals are funds and instruments that combine both features of debt and equity. And they do serve as a middle ground between traditional bonds and, uh, and stocks. So while hybrid capital have been widely used in the international financial markets, they have not necessarily been used within the MDB, multilateral development bank community. And in fact, given the formidable mandate that we have at the African Development Bank Group, the multiple crises that our continent is facing, and our limited you know, capital you know, in the face of the uh, formidable mission that we have. We do have an authorized capital of $208 billion and a risk capital of $15 billion. But we thought, uh, we knew that it was important for us to increase our financing uh, capacity. So the African Development Bank has really been at the forefront of innovation with regards to balance sheet optimization and habit capital structured as equity is one of the latest uh, innovation that we're able to uh, you know to launch it was uh, three years of work this is a transaction that is perpetual so it never matures but we do have the cap capacity to call it um or to redeem it after 10.5 years and the uh the, the these structures allows us to um to account for hybrid capital as pure equity so basically $5 billion of hybrid capital to the African Development Bank is about $20 billion of additional financing that we can provide to the continent. So this instrument has really gained um, recognition by the multilateral development bank community. We've had engagement with the G20. The instrument is uh, featured as a recommendation in their report. And we are very proud to have uh, launched this very successful transaction, which was really very well received by the capital markets Landmark and groundbreaking are some of the objectives, uh, objectives that have been used. So, you know, we're proud to have led the way for the multilateral development bank, but first and foremost for Africa, because it will increase our capacity to lend. Mm. So, um, uh, you, you, looking at the allocation now, the details of it, you did say that central banks and official institutions could get about 6.7%. Um, I'm also interested in the banks, commercial banks and private banks, 4.1%. Uh, what does, does it mean that our central bank... Uh, Pardon me, I want to focus on Nigeria right now. I know we're talking about Africa. Our central bank, Central Bank of Nigeria, and the uh, commercial banks can access part of this allocation? Um, the, the transaction was done, so it's been completed, but it is the first of many to come. We've had extensive roadshows conducted last year. We've met one, more than 150 investors, and um, hence you know, the size of the book, the, uh, the level of interest, the quality of the book as well, and, uh, and the very tight pricing that we're able to, uh, to gain for such a, such a perpetual transaction global after 10 years. So um, with regards to, uh, to Africa, we would welcome new investors. So we have investors for which the instrument was new, the name was new, and uh, they wanted to wait to see how that first transaction went before participating. So in our plan is to continue our extensive work with African institutional investors, including central banks, Nigeria, and, uh, and elsewhere in Africa, in order to, uh, to interest them to the, to the structure and um, 
going forward to have them as um, as investors because they know that the, the resources that they're going to put in this issue and from the African Development Bank are resources that are certainly going to find their way back into Nigeria. Mm. So do you monitor to ensure that this capital is used for social and environmental, you know? Absolutely. Um, the uh, One of the innovation as well of this transaction is that this was a sustainable hybrid capital. And hybrid tech capital, basically by doing this, we've created or the, the start of a new asset class in financial markets. And, and it's something that is going to be part of our funding tool. But yes, hybrid capital that is sustainable. Um, so basically what it means is that we will be using that to fund social and green projects throughout the continent. The, um, we've had the, our framework for sustainable bond uh, reviewed by a second party. We use Moody's, very good assessment. Uh, we are following the, all the major uh, financial markets um, uh, guidance, being ICMA the, for the green bond principles, the social bond principles. And actually, the African Development Bank is today the largest multilateral development bank issuer of social bonds. And, um, and also, we've been, and we've been active in the green bond market. So, both of them, so this shows you that we do have the, uh, the, the capacity to unland there. And you know, if you think of it, the mandate of the African Development Bank is really one that is social and green because we are also mandated to help Africa gradually transition to green growth. All so right. the, um, we adhere to the best market practices. All right. Uh, and, and it's good, you know, to also uh, ensure that it gets down there to the members who are going to use this fund. But thank you so much, uh, Vice President for Finance and Chief Finance Financial Officer of AFDB, Ms. Hasatu Nesele. Thank you very much.